we have Daryl Norman, Blackfeet artist, resides in Browning, Montana. Hi Daryl, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I was born in Browning, Montana in 1942. My actual career, art career, where I began professionally showing art around 1978, 79. I uh, was influenced by, uh, I was part of a dancing and singing group and we were taught by the leader of that uh, group, a man by, name, by the name of Glenn Eaglespeaker, mm -hmm. to how to make drums and rattles and how to work with rawhide and buckskin. And then, of course, being around powwow things, I was really highly influenced by that. And, uh, that began to be the beginning of my career in Blackfeet art. And I went back to college. Uh, I had gone to the University of Washington one year when I was young. But then I went back uh, in 1979. I went back to college, to, uh, not to necessarily get a degree in art, but to uh, just get a college degree or something. But I got involved in it. I was encouraged by a friend of mine. To, uh, we just, just thought I had some talent to take some art classes. Uh, and of course, those were all based on the art I was learning was all what you get in college is European based. It had nothing to do with Native American art. But my purpose in going back was how do you combine these traditional elements of Blackfeet design and imagery and make contemporary pieces as well as learning how to make traditional art forms like drums and rattles and shields and avalanches. It was always fascinated to me and to me they were an art form of themselves. So that's what got me into doing in the art and so over these years I've been going to art shows and building my art career. I went got my degree in art and <clears throat> I, today I own a gallery and went back to the reservation in 1991. Uh, 1993 started the Lodgepole Gallery in Tipa Village, and I represent a number of uh, Blackfeet artists and other Native artists in my gallery as well as my wife's work. And uh, I have been the recipient, uh, three, four-time recipient of the from the First Peoples Fund, the Community of Spirit, Spirit Award, and Artist Business Leadership Award. And like it says here, I became a part of the. Montana Circle of American Masters. And so my art career has just grown throughout the years. I work in traditional material of rawhide, buckskin, uh, beads, feathers, all the things that go along with that. And, uh, and also in stone, or bone, wood. Uh, sometimes it's whatever strikes my fancy to do a piece of artwork and my artwork, of course, always centers around Blackfeet imagery and design. Mm -hmm. Great. And are you enjoying this show that the NACDC is? I like this show because it is a continuance in a way of the Great Falls Native American Art Show that I attended for 26 years. I used to come from Seattle to come to the Great Falls Native American Art Show, and then when I moved back home, it was always a part of my year to be involved in that show. And when it ended, it always kind of broke up our group, and I always felt a little bit bad that we all kind of got dispersed. But uh, having this show come back and for us to be together, it involves a camaraderie of all of us Native artists that come here. Uh, we get a chance to visit and talk, compare notes, tell mm -hmm. stories, everything during this time of year. Uh, and then also, uh, we, uh, what I like about this is that we're part of a bigger scene. At the Great Falls Native American Art Show, we had very little walking. So there wasn't much activity, but have, being part of this show gives us the activity. You need the foot traffic in order to sell art. You need the people going through, and and I think that this makes a good addition to Chuck Fulcher's Living and Design show. It's mm -hmm. unique in that we have it's native art. There's nothing like it during Western Art Week. You come here and you see such a variation of traditional, contemporary work, and it's not like you see at the other shows, so it's very refreshing to come to this show. Definitely. And I hope that we continue to be part of this. I, th I think that uh, with the help that they got this past year from the First Peoples Fund, and, and it's working together, continually working together to try to bring this back together, that this can be successful, fun for the artists, and a great addition to the to this show. 
Yes, definitely. You, so you'll participate. You'll continue to yes. participate? Very good. Well, thank you so much for your time, Daryl. And um, we'll be speaking to you later. Thank you.